Hey everybody. So um, I woke up this morning and I've decided to go to a few thrift stores to look for any new video cassettes that they have in their possession because I was thinking of going out and getting a new videotape if there's any good ones out there. Uh, and then I was looking at the shelf and I realized, you know, I haven't really shown you guys what I have here. Um, again, I've shown you guys what's on my shelf before, what movies I have, what TV shows I, ha I have, but within the last few years, I've gotten rid of a few movies, I've gotten some new ones, I've moved things around, so this is, this is basically an updated version of what I have on the shelf. So I'll show you guys what I got here. The old AB and the Film said, by the way, AB and the Film's the movie's coming out in, uh, August, so hope you guys check that movie out. Hopefully you'll like it. So I'll show you guys what I have here. Um, yeah, not much has changed. Uh, this is... Let me just move these out of the way. Get the Wild Thornberries movie on videotape. The rest of the Nickelodeon movies are on DVD, but this one's on videotape. And, of course, we got Charlie Brown. Now, these I've had since the... 90s, early 2000s. I got these for Christmas, for my birthday, all that stuff. And what's great is that uh, between uh, between Halloween and Easter, I know I'm going to be watching a Charlie Brown special, and I have the Thanksgiving one too. That's on uh, DVD in there. So then we got the DreamWorks collection: Prince of Egypt, Chicken Run. That was a big childhood movie for me. And this was another big childhood movie for me. <laughs> big time. <laughs> um, I had a few more DreamWorks movies. I got rid of some of them. Like I said, the rest of the stuff... Like, again, if I don't have it on videotape, the other movies are on DVD. Over... One, one shelf over. So then we got the Pixar collection. We got Toy Story. We got A Bug's Life. Toy Story 2. And then we have Christmas right here. We got, we got The Grinch, Christmas Carol, 1984, George C. Scott version, and A Christmas Story. And then we got the MGM movies. We got The Wizard of Oz and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And we got Spy Kids. This, this was a big movie for me growing up. I I actually liked this movie a lot more than I thought I would. This this was a good movie. This was really good. You guys haven't seen Spy Kids. Check it out. You're going to love it. Another childhood classic for me, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Now, I actually grew up with this movie on a bootleg version that had commercials on it, and I uploaded that to YouTube a couple of years ago. Uh, because the tape uh, ran out and I never got to see the ending. So when I was about five or six, my dad ended up buying it on video and I was able to see the ending, which is good. Here's another childhood classic. Love this show. Love this tape. Still haven't seen the 2019 version. Never will. This was my sister's growing up. Mary-Kate and Ashley, we had a couple of these. But this one, this one I actually do like. I, I, I did like watching some of those growing up. My sister, my sister was a big, was really into Mary-Kate and Ashley when we were growing up. Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan. This one is great. This is a really good, really good movie. I'm going to have to take some of these out so we can get to over here. Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. This was my favorite one. Out of all the um, Honey We Shrunk Ourselves, or Honey I Shrunk the Kids, all that stuff. Uh, this was my favorite one. This was the third one, and this was direct to video, but this one was always my favorite. Um, I did have um, Honey I Shrunk the Kids, but I got rid of that. I gave that one away. And uh, I never had Honey I Blew Up the Kid. That one was, I, I, I wasn't a big fan of that one. And of course, this one. This one is. Uh, this is right up there. Um, top top five easily all-time favorite films from childhood. This movie. Like, forget this one. 
I wasn't really into that one growing up. This was the stop motion Disney movie that I was interested in growing up. <laughs> Not to say anything bad about this movie. It's just I didn't really grow up with it. This one I did. So I will... Alright, so I will take all these tapes out and I'll show you what's behind them. Even Siskel and Ebert loved it. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, you know, when you look at videotapes from the 80s and 90s, if you get quotes from Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert, they're there. And this one, uh, I noticed that a couple of years ago, like, hey, Siskel and Ebert's comment is on the cover. It's been on the cover the whole time. <laughs> they're not wrong. Two thumbs way up. Yeah, very good. Very good flick. And it's all the Disney films, all the 2D animated Disney films, most of them, not all of them. Um, I wish this shelf was just a little wider so I can put them all on one shelf. Um, now, some Disney movies I've gotten rid of, some of them I've added into the collection, and uh, yeah, so I'll show you guys what they are. Now, these are listed, I, I put them in order of the year they were released. So you're looking at them in the order that they came out in theaters when they when they were first released. So you got Snow White and the Seven Dwarves right here. This is the 2002. I tried to get all of the ones because, you know, okay, in 2018, 2019, I didn't have all of the Disney movies on videotape because growing up for me, um, the Disney movies were on videotape, you know, like, like, the, like the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection right here. Like, that's what I had growing up. You also had like the, the diamond collection right here. You know, like this is the classics, I think. Some of these say the classics on them too. Yeah, right there and right there. Um, but for me, owning the Disney movies on videotape, it's just, I, I just rather have them on videotape rather than DVD. I, I don't know. I, I can't explain it. I, I just, I just loved, I always loved the kind of previews that they had before the Disney movie would start on videotape. So for me, own, owning the Disney movies on video is just better, <laughs> but that's me, um, which I'm pretty sure every nineties kid can relate because if you were growing up in the nineties and you had a VCR and you were a kid, chances were you had this collection as well or something like this. So in 2018, 2019, I started going around to thrift stores and Amazon as well. Amazon, you can find some of these that have been still in the packaging on Amazon. Not rewrapped, original, ra original. And the reason I say original is because some of these I have opened that I did buy on Amazon, and they had those little booklets in there that you could purchase. And it obviously hadn't been opened because the stickers are still in. Like, for example, the rest of is down under. I've shown you this before. So they, now look at this. You get a mail-in offer. It expires 12-31 of 1991. Now, this movie came out in 1990, which means it probably came out on video in 91. So this has never been opened. And I bought this on Amazon. Never been opened before. Look, there's a stick. It's never been opened. So that's how you know if it's original or if it's used. At least that's one way to tell. So these are the movie. So in 2018, 2019, I wanted to buy... Uh, the rest of the D Disney movies to get them on videotape, and uh, yeah, so that's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs right here. Got Pinocchio. Now the thing with Pinocchio is this: this one, this one was always my favorite one. This was this was my favorite Disney movie. This was in the top five favorite Disney movies of all time, and this would probably be at number two or number one. Cause Jiminy Cricket was always my favorite Disney character growing up. But this is actually, is this the original or? Yeah, okay. So I actually have two copies of Pinocchio and I'll show you right over here. This was the copy I've had for the last couple of years. This is actually a bootleg version. I'll show you. Yeah. Yeah, somebody uploaded it on uh, a website, downloaded it off the website, put it on a DVD disc, and then burned it to a blank VHS tape and printed out the 1993 case and put it in a blank case. Yeah, I went through that much. Well, look, look, you can tell I printed that off of the computer. See how the, <laughs> the ink was wearing thin? But um, I was looking all over for the 1993 VHS tape because this was the one that uh, I had growing up. Well, I never had it. My babysitter would always bring it over. But I remember the introduction before the movie was started. Had the, it had the preview for this new movie coming out from Disney called Aladdin. 
which hadn't been out yet. And um, I was looking for it. Couldn't find it. Went to a thrift store a couple of months ago and found it. So I have two versions of it. But this is the this is the legit one. Yeah, that's legit. So I keep this with the other legit Disney movies. And this one, I don't know, I just I still have it, so. There's that. So then we have Dumbo right here. One of the saddest scenes in any Disney film. But then again, you could say that for almost every Disney film. Oh, it's the saddest scene ever. And speaking of sad scenes in Disney films... <laughs> Bambi. I haven't seen this in years. Yeah, I really haven't... I haven't seen this movie in years. I might want to check this out. Three Caballeros. Haven't seen this movie. I picked that up in the thrift... When I found Pinocchio, I found this in, the, in that thrift store, too. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to get this... I think it's got like Donald Duck cartoons in it or something. I don't know. I've never, yeah, I've never seen this one before. Probably should check that one out. Fun and Fancy Free. Grew up with that movie, and I I remember my mom got that in a. I think it was a. It wasn't a video store. It was like a department store. And the only reason we bought, and we got this when it was brand new in like 1997, 98. And the only reason we got it was because I had never heard of this movie, but because Jiminy Cricket was on the cover and I loved Pinocchio. I told mom, I said, mom, you got to buy this. You got to buy, I want to see what, I want to see what that is because Jiminy Cricket's in it. <laughs> and I've grown up with that movie ever since. Cinderella. Bought this on Amazon a couple of years ago. It's pretty good. It's in good condition. Uh, Peter Pan, Leading the Tramp, Sleeping Beauty, Sleeping Beauty. I love. I've had this since the '90s. That's that was always one of the greatest Disney villains ever, <laughs> Maleficent. But a great film. 101 Dalmatians. Got that one on Amazon. Sword in the Stone. Got it on Amazon. Mary Poppins. I've had this for years. That movie. Love that movie. Jungle Book. Bought this on Amazon. Never saw it before until a few years ago when I got it. And I watched it and I thought, yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty good. I did like it. Yeah, I thought it was good. Walt Disney's last film. <laughs> okay. Top five favorite Disney films of all time. This one. <laughs> Everybody Wants to Be a Cat. That was my jam, that song. Love that movie. I don't care what anybody says, I love that movie. This one is a classic, in my opinion. I still have yet to see the sequel. Obviously, it's still in the plastic. I have yet to see the sequel, but I hear the sequel's pretty good. I have heard it's good. I just haven't gotten around to opening it yet. I saw this movie one time... A long time ago so I probably would want to give it another another viewing okay great mouse detective this one I didn't grow up with again I got that one on Amazon too um, I, th I think it's good I do like it I think it's pretty good top five favorite Disney films there you go that's another one and this one is actually, like, a lot of, like, I'm surprised, like, there's a lot of people out there that don't know about this movie. Which, I'm shocked, because this, this one was really good, man. I mean, you got Billy Joel, the Billy Joel songs were great. All of our company was awesome. This was my sister's favorite Disney flick growing up, and I love it, too. Love The Little Mermaid. I think it's great. The beginning of the Disney Renaissance era with that film. Rescuers Down Under, I've shown you Beauty and the Beast. Got this on Amazon. Aladdin, got that one on Amazon. And the, the King, right there. Oh yeah, The Lion King. Got that one on Amazon, too. Like I said, I didn't have a whole lot of Disney films growing up. I had a handful of them. But I wanted to get the collection uh, growing. So, And this is the 1995 VHS tape. This is the one I was looking for. I was looking for that one. So I'll keep going with the Disney collection right down here. Got Hunchback. Let me pull some of these out. Got Hunchback of Notre Dame right here. Did not like this movie growing up. Wasn't a big fan of it. Saw it years later. Love it. 
And top five favorite Disney films of all time. This was... This, this would probably be tied with this. Because this I just fell in love with. <laughs> that movie. That was... Oh, boy. I saw that in the theaters when it came out. And when it came out on video, you bet we rented it on day one when it came out. Because this, this movie was a lot of fun. Love the gospel music in this movie. Love it. Right up there with Maleficent. One of, Hades is one of the best villains ever. Great great character. I love that movie. Still love it. I might watch this. Re I might check this movie out. I haven't seen it in a while. Netflix took it off, so maybe I'll fire up the VCR. <laughs> and Tarzan, introduction to Phil Collins' music. Great movie. And The Emperor's New Groove. Love that flick. Love that. One of the funniest movies you'll ever see. This was my introduction to 101 Dalmatians growing up. I didn't see the, um, the animated one until years later. This one, I remember... I remember when that one came out. That was Thanksgiving 1996. I was three and a half. My dad says he took me to the theaters to see that. I don't remember that. Obviously, I was only three. I was too young. But I remember watching this a lot growing up. And this is obviously a bootleg uh, case. I lost the case a long time ago. So much like the Pinocchio one, I printed out the 1996 VHS case. But the tape is real. The tape is legit. I just kept this tape with a lot of the blank VHS tapes, but I lost the case a long time ago. What, how I lost it, I have no idea, but yeah. So, 101. Here's 102. When this came out, I was so excited to see this. So excited. Saw that in the theaters. Got Max Keeble right here. You haven't checked this movie out? Check it out. That Disney logo don't mean anything. This is a Nickelodeon movie. I don't care what anybody says. It's got Nickelodeon written all over it. Okay? Simple as that. Snow Dogs. Very funny. Saw that in the theaters. That was pretty good. Nightmare Before Christmas. This is an original 1994 VHS tape. I think I showed you guys that already. Yeah, this is good. I whip this out every Halloween. Again, I didn't grow up with it, but I, li I like it now. Um, it's pretty good. Very good, actually. Cats and Dogs. This is new. I got this a couple of, couple of months, uh, about a year ago, I think I got this one. Yeah, grew up, with, grew up with this movie. This movie is hilarious. Saw this in the theaters when it came out. If you haven't seen this movie, watch this movie. You're going to love it. I think it's hilarious. Snowman. Every Christmas I watch that. Love that. Beethoven and Beethoven's second. Got Snow Day. And that's a Nickelodeon movie. And how do I know it's a Nickelodeon movie? Because of the orange VHS tape. All the Nickelodeon tapes were orange back in the day. Uh, this is all the Christmas stuff. White Christmas, Miracle on 34th Street, Rankin Bass, <laughs> Home Alone 1, 2, and 3, The Grinch with Jim Carrey. Right here. So I will... Remove these tapes and show you what's behind here. Okay, so it's mostly home movies and stuff, and stuff I've taped off of the uh, com um, computer. No, uh, the television set. Stuff my dad recorded off the television set, set like 30 years ago. And the tapes still work. Some of these are movies I did when I was younger. Like here, like, like these are Full House episodes right here. Full House 1, 2, 3... You know, before the DVDs were coming out, these were Full House episodes I taped. And this was the only way I could ever watch Full House for a while. Because, again, I don't have streaming. I don't have um, anything like that. I don't even have cable in my bedroom. But once I bought the complete series, I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> so, yeah, Full House. Um, this is The Man and Dog, uh, 2004. Wonderland Pier footage from 2004. That's this tape right here. Yeah, man and dog. <laughs> That's that. That's the original VHS tape. Uh, these are Drink and Josh episodes right here that I recorded off of Nickelodeon. But I have them on DVD, so it it's okay. <laughs> so, yeah, hang on a sec. I think this is like a Nickelodeon lineup right here that I recorded. This is like 2004, 2005 I recorded this off the TV. Yeah, can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, Drake and Josh, Zoe 101, Fairly Odd Parents, Unfabulous, Ned, Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. Anyone remember that show? 
great Nickelodeon show. So yeah, so nothing really big here. This is all, uh, wait, what are, what are these? Are these, uh, well, these are blank VHS tapes. I don't know what they are. This might be the Honeymooners tape, I think. The VHS treasures. A lot of these are VHS treasures. Uh, the, those commercial videos I uploaded. Oh, here's the Gillian's Team video, 2004. Safety copy. This is the uh, Gillian's Wonderland Pier, 2004 team video. Yeah, I saved all the team videos. <laughs> Let's go down here. So we have... Uh, Oh, this is the Lion King on a bootleg right there. That this was how I was able to watch the Lion King as a kid growing up. My um my great grandpa uh, recorded it off of a Prism, I think, or something like that. I forget what the name of the um he probably I don't know how he recorded it, but that was how I was able to watch the movie. And then in 2019, I bought it on video up there. This is, I think this is a Wonderland team video. Oh, no, no, no. This is the Shining Time Station jukebox band lullaby tape that I've been watching for years. I have it on videotape. Yeah, Shining Time Station. If you guys saw the Man and Dog 30th anniversary, you probably know what I'm talking about. This, I think this is another blank tape. What, what's in this? What is this? That's a blank tape. It's not labeled. But it's sitting here, so it's probably has something on it. That's home movies. What's oh, that's home movies? Home movies. All right, let's Christmas time again. Charlie Brown. This was my mom's. This was hers. Um, and uh, if you guys remember in uh, Christmas 4.0, the Man and Dog Christmas 4.0, there was a commercial. You can buy uh, a Charlie Brown tape at your local gas station. She obviously bought this at a gas station because there's the Shell logo for Shell Gas. <laughs> and this doesn't look like a normal videotape that you would buy. That it, it almost looks like a pirated version, but yeah, but she had this. And um, I was able to get that before she passed. Sandlot. This is autographed right here by the kid who played Kenny DeNunez in the back. I met him. That was really cool meeting him, asking him about the movie. He was also in Moonwalker, too, with uh, Michael Jackson. Asked him about that as well. So anyway, yeah, classic film. Great movie. Titanic. Great film. Sound of Music. 1994 VHS release with the Rodgers and Hammerstein Golden Anniversary Collection preview before it which is what I've been looking for for years, because this was the version we used to rent from West Coast Video back in the 90s. And it took me a lot of thrift stores to find this, and I finally found it. <laughs> it took me forever to find that. Oh, Redwater. Yeah, this is a pirated ver Obviously, I drew that. <laughs> yeah, I recorded Redwater off of the... Um, yeah, you want to read this? 4,354-pound bull shark is in the lakes of southern Louisiana. It has killed many victims, and will they survive the shark? Yeah, it's rated R. I don't know if it's rated R for that stuff, but I just wrote that in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I recorded this in 2004. I, I, I labeled everything. I labeled everything. I still do. Um, yeah, so this is red water. Here, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, red water. Here, let's see what it looks like on the video on the VCR. I'll show you. Let's take a look. Here. Here, let's take a look at what it looks like here. I'll show you. Yeah, you're gonna see those bars come up on the TV. Mr. Sanders, you have to make your payments. Yeah, it still looks good, right? This was recorded 18 years ago. Not bad, right? It still looks good. So, yeah. So, let's keep going. Got Andre right here. Little Rascals. Bought this a couple of years ago. Haven't seen this movie in years, and I loved it as a kid. Loved this movie as a kid. Um, yeah, so I'm glad I found that. I found that on Amazon, I believe. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. VHS. Singing in the Rain. Classic movie. That's another classic movie. I should probably watch this soon. 
summer's almost over. And yeah, same with this one too. I should watch that too. <laughs> I just bought this on videotape. This is in good condition actually, Deep Blue Sea. Love Deep Blue Sea. If you guys haven't seen that, check it out. Roger Rabbit, just bought that on Amazon a little while ago on video. They had the videotape option and I'm like, yeah, I'm getting it on video. I'm getting on video cassette. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Great movie, watch that every Thanksgiving. There's another John Hughes classic. I've had this for years. Ferris Bueller, that's great. And Air Force One. And this is actually, a friend of mine had this. He's got a couple of videotapes and he's got no, he had no use for it. So I said, can I take it? He says, yeah. This is actually, because my friend who owned, who owned this, he used to own a video store back in the... Uh, I guess late 90s, early 2000s. And this is actually a screener copy. This is not a legit copy for sale. This is a screener copy. So, yeah, see what I mean? Like, this is only for... Um, like, you would get the tape, and you would watch it, like, before it was out. You know what I mean? I'm not sure exactly how that worked, but... But yeah, but basically this is a screener copy. This is not a legitimate VHS release. But yeah. Yeah, I asked him if I can have it. This is a good movie. This is this is pretty. It's 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 die hard on the president's plane. That's that's the movie. That's Air Force One. <laughs> Great film. This I found at a thrift store. This is Road Trip, by the way. Which I've never actually seen the movie Road Trip, but let's be honest, guys. I bought this for one reason, because it's in this case. And I instantly had flashbacks to when I was a kid looking at this. <laughs> this is this is when you rented movies at Blockbuster, this is how it came. It came in this case, and oh yeah, man. I, I love this. I absolutely love this. This was a buck. <laughs> Yeah, I found that in a, in a thrift store. I guess they just got it from Blockbuster and never bothered to return it. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, they always had that. Please remember to rewind. Be kind, rewind. You didn't rewind, you had, they charge you some late fees for that. <laughs> so, yeah. So then I'll move these VHS tapes and show you what I have behind there. And it's more home movies. Some of this stuff is on YouTube. Uh, oh, I have Jurassic Park. Bought this at a thrift store a couple months ago. Have Jurassic Park. There's the Willy Wonka tape that I grew up with. Um, Iapa, Spirit of Hospitality. Some of these are training videos from Wonderland. Some of these are home movies. Like here's the Brady Bunch tape from uh, VHS Treasures. Brady Bunch episodes on Nick at Night. Um, Country Roads. This is a this is a tape I made. I will not release it. Cr country Road. Yeah, big spelling error there. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what is this? Father and Dice. Oh, this is um. This was a singing video that I did back when I was eight years old. I think. Yeah. I, yeah, I was having fun with the camera at this point. I had like one of those birdhouse cameras with a V8 that you put the VHS tape into, and I was um, I remember singing some of those songs on there. I'm not gonna put that on YouTube, by the way. It's horrible. <laughs> Trust me, it's horrible. Yeah, these are some of my movies, and these are yeah, these are just more commercials recorded on uh, recorded off the TV. So yeah, so that's about it. Um, and the rest of the stuff down here, this is just my personal collection. Oh, I have Golden Girls here, seasons one and four. Uh, here's the Heavy Duty DVDs, my show Heavy Duty. And these are other uh, shows that I did when I was a kid. No, you're not going to see any of those on uh, YouTube. But anyway, that's the VHS collection, pretty much. So here's the DVD collection. Let's move over here. So here's all the Nickelodeon stuff right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got Spongebob, the first three seasons only. Hey Arnold, Rugrats. 
This came out last year. I am beyond thrilled that this came out last year. All, 26 disc set includes all nine seasons, including the All Grown Up special, which I loved. I remember when that first came on TV. <laughs> um, so this is great. Fairly Odd Parents, first five seasons. Jimmy Neutron, finally on DVD, the complete series. It's about time. I've been waiting for this for years. Now it's complete. <laughs> now, if they would just release all that on DVD, then it's really complete. <laughs> uh, Rocket Power, all four seasons. Chalk Zone, complete series. My Life is a Teenage Robot, love that show. Uh, the first season. I don't have seasons two and three. I know they're out, but I don't have them. Doug, the complete series. Love that show. Danny Phantom, the complete series. Cat Dog, the complete series. The Amanda Show, seasons one, two, and three. Drake and Josh, the complete series. These are bootlegs because there are no season sets of Drake and Josh. But back when Drake and Josh was on Netflix, I said, you know what? I'm going to record these episodes and find all the ones that aren't on Netflix and get them on DVDs because there's no season sets of Drake and Josh, and I'd love to have it in the collection. So, yeah, so I made this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I made in that season four. I'll show you the disc art. I got... Uh, I got clever with the disc art. Like, I made, like, little arrows in there. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, so. Drake and Josh are back for the fourth and final season of their Nickelodeon hit show. The really big shrimp, the finale. <laughs> yeah, 2016 AB DVD, that's when I made it. <laughs> I don't sell these, they're just for me in the collection. Nezzy Classified, there's no season sets of Nezzy Classified. They had like season one and then that was it. So, again, you know, it was on Netflix. All the episodes were there, and I said, you know what? I'm going to record it. I'm going to get them all on one set because I love these shows, and there's no DVD sets. Zoe 101, season one. Yep. And season two. Seasons three and four were not available, but even if they were, I wouldn't get them anyway. I wasn't a big fan of seasons three and four. Just the first, the first two seasons were good. Naked Brothers Band, Seasons 1 and 2. There's still no Season 3 on DVD yet. There probably never will be. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so... I will move these out of the way and show you guys what I have behind those. Okay. So, we got How I Met Your Mother. All nine seasons. I had the Complete Series book set. But when I got that, a lot of those discs were damaged. So I got rid of that and just said, you know what, I'm going to get it individually. So I have all nine seasons. How I Met Your Mother. Great show. Taxi, the complete series, all five seasons. This is another great show. Recommend you guys check this show out. You'll love it. Yeah. Put that back in there. Brady Bunch. Grew up with this show as a kid. Seinfeld, the complete series. Seasons 1 and 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9. 5 and 6 are in there. And coming off the Nickelodeon collection, we have iCarly. Um, I know they released the complete fourth season DVD. I didn't get that one. Um, this is more than enough, actually. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, iCarly was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. I haven't seen that iCarly reboot that they did. I'm not interested in that. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So I have iCarly there. So let's go down here. So we got uh, Family Ties. Michael J. Fox's show. Before Back to the Future. Very good. We've got The Chosen right here. Love that show. Seasons 1. Season 2 just came out. So I have Season 2 here. I might do vlogs on this show. At one point. Because season 3 is coming out pretty soon. So you got The Simpsons. The first 10 seasons only. I don't have enough room on this shelf for 30 plus seasons, you guys. And nor am I interested. Because I agree, right around season 9, season 10, the show... Like, if you watch seasons 9 and 10, you, you start to realize the humor... It, it's still funny, but it's not like this. It's not this, okay? This is... Like, like honestly, if they stopped after season 8, 
and said, that's The Simpsons, the f- eight seasons, like, it would be, a, the world would be a perfect place. <laughs> but, um, no, no, we got to go into season, w- w- what season are they in now? What, like, 35? Is that what they're in now? That's, man. Matt Groening's got to, like, just stop, man. I don't know. <laughs> they just, just going to keep it going. Family Guy, same thing. Like, Family Guy just keeps on going. But uh, have the Simpsons right here, and I'm glad I have these because the Treehouse of Horror episodes I watch all the time, every Halloween. So you got Full House, the complete series. Got different strokes, seasons one and two. I had season three. I never really watched it, so I just got rid of it. Um, I didn't like the uh, like when I think different strokes. I like the Mrs. Garrett episodes when uh, Charlotte Ray was on the show, and she was only on the show for the first season and a half because she left Different Strokes to do the Facts of Life. So. Yeah, like, for me, I'm, I'm satisfied with just the first two seasons. You got Till Death, the first three seasons. They did a fourth season, and it was so bad that they took the show off the air. They actually started taking the show off the air during season three, because season three is when they had a lot of cast changes. But if you want to watch Till Death, I highly recommend seasons one and two. Season three had, like, a few good moments in there, but mostly seasons one and two are good. And I got season three. Like, season, like... Okay, season one and two came out on DVD, like, when the show was on the air, which was 2007, 2008, 2009. This season, season three, this aired in 2008. This didn't come on DVD until, like, a few years ago. Like, that's how long it took for it to get on DVD. You know what I mean? Like, I thought they would never release season three on DVD, but you never know. Got the Wonder Years complete series. Again, this is a bootleg, because at the time, they did not have season sets of the Wonder Years. They do now... But at the time, they didn't. This was, a, like, a good... How long ago? Did I put a year here? No, I did not. Okay. But I made this because back when The Wonder Years was on Netflix, I said, I'm recording all six seasons. I'm recording all these episodes. And I did, and so I had it, you know? So I made this. There are six discs in here. I wrote down what episode is on what disc so I know. And, uh, yeah. So, so that's that. Got What's Happening, the complete series, all three seasons. Love this show. You guys haven't seen What's Happening? Check it out. You're going to laugh and laugh. <laughs> yeah. Raj, Rerun, and Dwayne. Yeah, this show This show is hilarious. You, got, you guys will love that show if you ever check it out. Honeymooners. I used to have a box set that looked like that. But I had it for almost 20 years, and the discs just wore out. So I said, you know what, I'm going to buy it again. So I bought it again. Honeymooners, classic 39 episodes. Great sitcom. Great show. And then, oh, this is Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck, great outdoors. Double feature DVD. Not a TV show, but I have that. All right, so now I'll move all this and show you what's behind there. Okay. So, uh, I'll show you what's up top here. We got Cheers, the complete series. All 11 seasons are here. Season 11, the final season. Yeah, Cheers was a good show. It's got the Big Bang Theory, all 12 seasons. The Defenders, this is a bootleg because there's no season set of it, but it was on Netflix, it was one season, 18 episodes, and I said, I'm going to print this out, and yeah, there was a DVD edition, but I couldn't find it, I couldn't find it on Amazon, I couldn't find it anywhere, this was a good show, I'm really upset that this show got cancelled after one season, this was a really, really great show, and it's not even on Netflix anymore, and it used to be, and it's a great, great show, you guys, like, I'm not... I'm not really into hour-long dramas, but this, this was really good. I was surprised at how much I enjoyed it. Got the Partridge Family, first two seasons. Eight Simple Rules, seasons one and two. Great John Ritter show. Dawson's Creek, love it. Mon- the Monsters, the whole show, all two seasons. <laughs> Cosby Show, complete series. Boy Meets World, all seven seasons. The Three Stooges, every Three Stooges short is in that box, including the including the ones with Shemp and Curly Joe. 1934 to 1959, every single one. 17 disc set. 17. Woo! Every Three Stooges short is in there. 
I saw that on Amazon. I'm like, okay, I'm getting that because I grew up with these guys. I grew up watching them. And we got Happy Days, seasons one, two, and three, right here. Now, Happy Days was on the air for 11 seasons. Not all 11 seasons are on DVD. I think the first seven are on DVD. The Ron Howard years are on DVD, but yeah, the first three are enough. This show, that show went on way too long. Like, once... Once Fonzie jumped that shark, that was, uh, yeah, yeah, you're getting into, you, like, I think it ran its course by that point. <laughs> uh, put the Three Stooges back in there. Okay. All right, so let's go down here. So we got the Office Complete Series. We got Friends the Complete Series. Now we're going into some movie territory here. We got Song of the South. Ian gave me this. He's a big fan of Breer Rabbit. Breer Fox, Breer, he's a big Song of the South guy. He loves that movie. Um, I've never seen this movie. I've always wanted to. And he's got a DVD of it. It's still in the plastic, but at some point I'm going to check this movie out because I've always wanted to see this movie. You got Jaws 2 on DVD. You got Open Water right here. 12 Angry Men. Classic movie right here. Highly recommend that. Back to the Future 1, 2, 3. Bridge on the River Kwai, great flick, you guys, great movie, definitely check, recommend that. Got the Star Wars movies right here. Now, little fun fact about these. These are, these, are, I made these. These are actually VHS cases that a friend of mine had that I photocopied and made them into DVDs. But the great thing about it is, look, you can tell right here on the side, it said CBS Fox Video. These are VHS covers. But it doesn't say New Hope on there because these were made original. These are original VHS covers. But the great thing about it is Ian had DVD versions of redigitized files of the original movies before Lucas messed it up. And I asked Ian, I said, Ian, can you give me those files? And he said, yes. So I have the files. I had to check first. I had to see if Han shoots first in Star Wars, and he does. And I said, okay, all right, I'll take them. I'll put them on DVD. So, And then I asked my friend who had the original Star Wars movies on videotape, can I borrow your cases so I can make cases for me? And he said, sure. So, yeah. Yeah, so these are bootlegs, but you can't find the originals anywhere anymore. And I don't... I don't have them on videotape because the because if you bought Star Wars on video before 1997, that's the only way you could have the originals. So I got the originals right here. So I'm really excited about that. Got Kangaroo Jack, great movie. Say anything. That movie was so. I, I saw that earlier this year. You guys got to check that out. It's so good. I've had it with these. <laughs> you, you know the line. <laughs> Love that movie. Now you got the Beatles stuff. Beatles Anthology. Best documentary on the Beatles that's ever been made. Nobody's ever going to top that. So you got Help. Yellow Submarine. Let It Be. You got Imagine. Which is a documentary on John Lennon. Living in the Material World. Documentary on George Harrison. This one's very good. And this one's good too. Imagine's really good too. And you got the new one. Get Back. On Disney+. Plus. That was really good. I was really amazed by, with that one. So you got the Nickelodeon Movies Collection. You got the Rugrats movie, Rugrats in Paris, Jimmy Neutron the movie, Hey Arnold the movie, Rugrats Go Wild, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, Drake and Josh Go Hollywood, DNJ Go LA. This one should have been in theaters. I I remember when it came on TV for the first time. I stayed up late to watch this, but th this should have been in theaters, you guys. It was Drake and Josh the movie, Naked Brothers Band the movie. Merry Christmas, Dragon Josh. And Hey Arnold, Jungle Movie. Got that one. So, I will clear these out and show you what's behind here. Okay. So, got School of Rock. Spy Kids 2. Island of Lost Dreams. Stuart Little 2. I used to have the first one on video. I got rid of it. I wasn't a big fan of that one. Alright, so here's the Elvis Collection. Girls, 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 follow that dream. Double Trouble. Double Trouble was always my favorite one. 
Uh, that's the way it is. Great concert film. Now you got the Halloween stuff. That Corpse Bride. Blair Witch Project. Love that movie. I love it. Sixth Sense. Red Eye. And Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Michael Jackson's Vision. Every Michael Jackson music video in here. Man Who Came to Dinner, that's a bootleg. That was recorded off of Turner Classic Movies. Um, I made the case. This is, uh, now we're getting into the Christmas collection. The Peanuts movie I include as a Christmas movie. Nickmas, before the Nickelodeon collection started, I decided to record all of the Nickelodeon Christmas episodes and put them in a box set before I started collecting Nickelodeon DVD sets. So this is all the Nicktoons Christmas episodes in here. I made this. So then we have Meet Me in St. Louis with Judy Garland. We got Arthur Christmas, Santa Claus 1 and 2, Elf, Polar Express, Christmas with the Cranks, Jingle All the Way, Unaccompanied Miners. Great movie. Fred Claus, Muppet Christmas Carol, Christmas Vacation, The Ref, Turner Classic Movies, four classic films that are Christmas related from Turner Classic Movies. These are good. Some of these I didn't get a chance. I bought this last year. Some of these movies I didn't even get a chance to watch. As you can tell, I have a lot of Christmas movies here, okay? You can't... It's hard to watch them all. It's a Wonderful Life. Home Alone 4, Guilty Pleasure. I know it's not as good. I still like it. Holiday Inn with Bing Crosby. Snow, that's a bootleg from ABC Family. That's a good movie. I like that movie. So you got Bohemian Rhapsody. Got Lord of the Rings trilogy, got The Room, Michael Jackson's This Is It, Little Manhattan, Peter Pan, the 2003 remake, Spotlight, great film, History of the World Part 1, and Spaceballs, little Mel Brooks collection right there, Genesis concert movies, Genesis documentary, some of the parts, and Three Sides Live, big, I'm a big Genesis fan, and we got Tom and Huck, on uh, one of the Disney classic 90s Disney movie. Love this movie. Great movie. We got a few up here too. We got Men in Black 1 and 2, Stella's Last Weekend, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Disturbia, and The Cat in the Hat. I know people don't like this movie. I grew up with that movie. I like it. I know it's not good. It doesn't do a justice to Dr. Seuss, but it does have fun, some funny moments in it, so I do, I do like it. And then we'll do down here next. Okay, so this is the DreamWorks stuff, the rest of it. Try to pull these out a little bit. So you got Shrek 2, Madagascar. You got Shrek the 3rd, and Shrek Forever After. Shrek 3 and 4. You got Jeff Dunham collection right here. I love Jeff Dunham, I'm a big fan. You got Arguing With Myself, Spark of Insanity, uh, The Christmas Special, and Controlled Chaos. It's pretty good. You got Spider-Man Trilogy, with Tobey Maguire. Love these. I grew up with these movies. And I found the two disc version of Spider Man. This was, uh, this has everything. This has, disc two on here actually has pro television promos. Like, I, I miss the days when DVDs had like pro, like television, like 30 second spot promos that you would see on television. You know, I miss that. I miss when DVDs had like commercials for that. Mary Kate Nashley, Our Lips Are Sealed. Yeah, that's another one that my sister had. Cellular, great movie. Fiddler on the Roof. Staying Alive. The sequel to Saturday Night Fever. It's not bad. Rotten Tomatoes gave it 0%. I disagree. I'd give it like 53%. I thought it was pretty good. Jesus, movie about Jesus. Very good. Love it. Got the kid with Bruce Willis. Stand By Me. Stand By Me was so good. You guys gotta check that movie out. My knees are hurting me because I'm down on the ground here, but... Genesis, live at Wembley Stadium. This was the Invisible Touch Tour, 1987. Great concert film. Genesis, The Way We Walk, 1992. Concert film. The Genesis Songbook, documentary about Genesis. Very good. I'm a big Genesis fan, in case you guys didn't know that already. <laughs> Son of a Woman with Al Pacino. And Justice for All with Al Pacino. My Fair Lady, great movie. Love that movie. Eagles, Hell Freezes Over, concert movie. Really good. Here's the Pixar collection. <laughs> you can see these for yourself. That's the Pixar collection. 
Now you notice Cars 2 is not in the collection. Yeah, there's a reason why, because it sucked. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't like that one. That's the only Pixar movie I didn't like. Monsters University, I didn't like that much either, but at least it's not Cars 2. <laughs> it was a little bit better than Cars 2. Not much better, but it, it, it wasn't as bad as Cars 2. Cars 2 was the worst, you guys. Pixar making a bad film. I'm sorry, I still can't get over that. Pixar made a bad film. I never thought I would ever say that sentence. So anyway, there's Luca. And uh, Luca I still haven't seen yet. I bought this, but I still haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Yeah, Bee Gees, One Night Only, concert film. The Bee Gees. Big Bee Gees fan, too. And you got Big Fat Liar. If you guys haven't checked this out, check this movie out. You're going to love this movie. This movie is a riot. I remember seeing this in the theaters when it came out. This came out 20 years ago. 20 years. Where is time gone, you guys? I was I was nine years old when this came out. Well, actually, no. No, I was eight. This came out in February. February 2002. I was eight. Wow. Time goes by, man. It goes by so fast. So... I will move all of these and show you what's behind those. Okay. So, the, here's the rest of the Harry Potter collection right here. Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, Deathly Hallows 1 and 2. Yes, Keys to Ascension, concert movie. This was the first DVD we ever bought about 22 years ago. Very good. Dumb and Dumber, classic film. Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels, great movie. Splash, one of the few movies that Ron Howard directed that I thought was pretty good. <laughs> He's made a couple good ones. Um, Fast and Furious 6 and 7. These are the only ones I have. These ones were pretty good. There's Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Told you I had the Thanksgiving one. Led Zeppelin. Uh... This has a lot of Led Zeppelin videos in it and stuff like that. It's like the Led Zeppelin Ultimate Edition DVD. No Quarter. That's Jimmy Page and Robert Plant. Concert movie. Pretty good. Got Mr. Mom. Dane Cook. Vicious Circle. Father of the Bride 1 and 2. Here's everything I bought from the Nostalgia Critic. I didn't make these. I actually purchased these. Doug Walker, Nostalgia Critic, all that. And here's some more Nostalgia Critics up here. kick Assia, Suburban Nights to Boldly Flee. Pizza, the movie Pizza, I thought was pretty good. Atop the Fourth Wall, the movie. Got the Karate Kid, Lost at Sea. This is a SpongeBob DVD with SpongeBob episodes on it. But I, I have all these in the season sets. And these are my movies. These are mine. These are the movies I made when I was a kid. I made all these. So, yeah, Home Alone Home Alone 5. I made this in 2005. Yeah, that's me when I was 12 years old. <laughs> no, I will not release any of these on YouTube. They are too embarrassing. I will never do that. So, yeah. Yeah, these are more of my movies here. Yeah, here's a Wonderland documentary I made on Wonderland Pier. Made that. And some of the, most of this I can't release because I need uh, permission. But some of this stuff you've seen in the Man and Dog 30th Anniversary. I was able to release some of that. Here's West Virginia. You've seen that. It's on my channel, the movie, West Virginia. I have that. So, yeah. So that's my DVD collection and videotape collection. Uh... Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next video on my channel. Take care.